came over here on the mill I've got this uh, set up on a couple parallels with a V block clamped in here and I've centered up on the the registration bore and we are well within a tenth all the way around easily or less of needle really doesn't move so <laughs> that's uh that's pretty good I just have my indicator up in the in a collet so that uh it's all ready to go I've entered the information into the DRO for a four hole pattern and uh, the bolt circle and everything so uh, we're ready to uh, set up for the drilling and uh, get her done Okay, since I had a quarter inch collet in there, I just put the uh, uh, quarter inch spotting drill. I just put it in the collet and I got enough uh, stroke, so we're just going to use that for spotting it and then I'll put a chuck in. So uh, we're pretty much uh, done with this project for now. Uh, I just want to show you how everything and how everything goes together here. Uh, so this is the rotary table. This is a 10 inch rotary table. This is an eight inch four jaw. This is a six inch uh, buck adjust true uh, six jaw. These are the three parts uh, that I made right here. The uh, Morris taper number three adapter for the center, right? Three quarter ten thread with a register. This is the two and a quarter eight thread on the outside with the thread and register on the inside for the adapter, three quarter ten. And this is the uh, thick uh, uh, backing plate for the eight jaw with the register and uh, three quarter ten and the holes to mount it onto the chuck. So I'm going to kind of zoom you in. Uh, to show you how it all goes together. Uh, oh yeah, here's the uh, normal uh, backing uh, mounting plate for the four jaw with the two and a quarter eight. I could also use this on there. But I'm just going to show you these ones right here. So let me uh, uh, change the camera so we can kind of zoom in and you can see how all this will go together. Okay, so so inside there's a washer already in the bore in there, a loose washer. And it's about a quarter of an inch thick. That it goes up against the shoulder, it allows us to pull this uh, this taper tight in tight in there. So we're gonna put that in. Just gonna give it a little bit of tap. That makes it so we can uh, tighten this uh, bolt up good.
Okay. So, option one is uh, you can spin this on. You can take this chuck right here and put it directly on there. Boom. Quick as that. Puts it right on. Now, I have not put this like on the mill and, and dialed it to check the concentricity of everything. Uh, I tried to make everything as concentric as possible by turning that arbor between centers and uh, doing all the machining at once and stuff. So um, things should be pretty good. I'm not saying they're going to be perfect, but they should be very, very good. Uh, nice thing about this chuck, it's an adjust true chuck, so we can always adjust if we had to. Uh, it's kind of sl slick because I could take something right off the lathe and put it right on here. And it's either going to be very, very close or uh, it's going to be right on. So that's one there. Now, if, uh, if I had this backing plate on the four jaw, I'd be able to do the same thing. Spin it right on. Yeah, a couple taps, you know. But I'll probably put a, oops, probably going to do that. Probably put a couple holes and make a little spanner for that. That'd be perfect. So that works. So I'm going to put this on. And these screws uh, mount from the front. Okay, this is the first time I've tried this on here, so <laughs> we'll see how all these go in. See if they all start. Going in good. It all started and they're all going in. So hey, that's that's a good sign. So the idea is that we'll just go on here. I'm not going to snug it all the way. I mean, slam it like I did the other one. Uh, so, but anyway, there we go. Goes right on. And uh, these lines are, they must be, yeah, it must be about an 8-inch line. This is a 10-inch plate, but the outside of that lines up with that line. The outside of this one lined up with another line. So, that's the idea. And, uh. Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, I could, I'll flip it down. And the back is still flush. Uh, that, was, that was the other thing. It's still flat, right? Because the bolt's up inside here. I don't know, I'm just kind of free aiming that. Uh, so, you can see how... Unlock the locks and well, it sure looks awful, awful lined up. Anyway, that's the idea. So now I have a not quite. A, I have a well, a little over three quarters of an inch uh, gap here, and I'm thinking. Uh, Maybe uh, I can make some uh, plates one of these days that can mount on there and uh, have an indexing, something that indexes up here on top and uh, kind of make it, it'd be very, be very similar to a super spacer that way. Um, I mean, it does have the degree markings and all that on this, but 
Uh, you can make it so you have a quick indexing. You don't have to think about how many degrees and all that. That's why I left it tall. So that'd be an interesting uh, project uh, there. Maybe get some. Uh, I had to get some uh, cut plates and and then machine them with the notches. Anyway, so uh, that's the conclusion of this project uh, for now. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, you guys, thanks for walking, watching. Uh, thanks for sticking sticking with the project. Uh, if yeah, I do have drawings of everything. Um, I will post them on on my uh, shared uh, Dropbox, so uh, anybody who wants them, they can have them. It's a kind of a nice mod. I uh, didn't have to buy, you know, three or four hundred dollar chuck to, to go on here and fit in these, so it's big enough to fit on the slots, a front mounted one. Uh, these are probably both big enough for most of the stuff I do. Uh, if it's not, then that'd be another story. But it gives me a couple options, so uh, to save a few bucks. I made all this with scrap. I mean, there's you know stock that was that uh, was just basically given to me. So uh, that were actually scrap pieces. So uh, this uh, this worked out well. All right, thank you guys, and we'll be seeing you. I'm thinking about putting some holes in this uh, for like a spanner. Uh, so uh, I'm probably going to have to do that. <laughs>